Okay, here we are. Uh, this happens to be on the layout. These five tracks are part of one massive industry. And which, by coincidence, its name happens to be Massive Industries. Anyways, so I need a place to clamp to be out of the way. So we're clamping here. All right, so we made a tool, a little multi-block. And what I did was I just, I milled a little shelf around it so I could square things and clamp them. So right now I have a three, a three part frame in here that will fit a 280. And the extra part, so here's, here's the frame. This one fits the 130 at, at, at the right height. When this is on the, on top of the trucks, and here's our first one not square at all but fortunately that doesn't matter it doesn't have to be it, it doesn't have to be perfect that will still work and we're still going to use it but now that we have made a way to clamp them square they'll all be they'll all be basically the same now other than okay they'll all be basically the same for setting the height and getting them on the trucks and then all we have to do is we can change the length of the bottom piece here for different kinds of locomotives and because the bandsaw is working this is super easy now so it took me not even 30 minutes to go from bar stock to into into the uh, multi-block here and clamp it that's how long it took to make a frame now and right now i'm doing two two at a time and fortunately, I got enough bar stock, I can do a whole bunch of them. And I can probably do, I think I could do probably five at a time if I had to. But right now, we're already going to have four. So we're in good shape. Now, here's what I want to say about these. So the idea behind this is that you don't want to have to make something really high precision if you don't have to. Okay, this thing only has to be one step down, so the height is set by the, the uh, thickness of the bar stock, and it's one step down, and the motor can just sit right on here, and when these are on the trucks, I'm going to drill some holes in here for the pintle, motor's lined up. That's great, and using our drive shaft system with the silicone hose, it doesn't matter exactly where the motor is in here. And those 130s fit a scale with hood. So we can just go ahead and mount the motor on here and drive shafts and trucks just like that and then build it from there. That's how we're going to do this now. We're going to build from the ground up and we're in really good shape. See, the, if we can avoid using parts that are dependent on each other, then we have a much greater chance of having something that's a success and works, works good. So I get the holes in here and we're pretty good about centering those. Then we've got to work an underframe. A negative space under frame and that's that's pretty sweet these are easy to crank out and wow isn't this way easier than what we did before with milling and bending and you know to, to make five or six little frames that we were planning on would have taken a long time these now we'll crank these out in no time that bandsaw fixing that bandsaw now I get to experience the reason why I bought it in the first place is the fun and I'd forgotten all about that with all the work we had to put into it. But here we are. We got two cooking right now. You know, we're going to go ahead and uh, see if we can't build one up today. 